There is still, though, much to be done, particularly in relation to the way that the practice of men's cross-dressing has permeated male stream culture. I want to talk today about gay male cross-dressing, usually called drag, which should be included in the feminist struggle against the rights of male cross-dressers to imitate women. At the same time as transvestites, men with the sexual paraphilia of being sexually excited by women's subordination, were campaigning so successfully for their rights to imitate women in law and public, gay male drag artists were normalizing their practice. In the 1960s and 70s, gay men did drag performances in a few pubs, mainly for other gay men. It was an underground culture of woman hating. Nowadays, men in drag have become staples of popular entertainment, and drag has become extremely significant in popular culture. Today, the hit show RuPaul's Drag Race, which started in 2010, in which men dress up as women to compete for prizes, has a number of spin-offs and two collections of academic articles simply on this show have already been published. There are many similar shows that have been commissioned as a result of its success. The expression of hatred towards women in drag performances is routine. A good example um, is the, the fact that the word fishy is thrown around. Fish is a word from the woman hatred of gay male culture and refers to women according to the supposed smell of women's genitals. The framework for judging the show is composed of a four letter word, which is insulting precisely because it refers to women's genitals. C for charisma, U for uniqueness, N for nerve, and T for talent, i.e. C-U-N-T. I always spell this word out rather than saying it because it is a, such a terrible word in the way it's used against women. The most significant evidence that drag, drag has become mainstream is the existence of Drag Queen Story Hour. The, in, in Drag Queen Story Hours, drag queens read books to toddlers at libraries, museums and galleries under the banner of teaching children about diversity. This is a recent development. In the UK, it originated in Bristol, uh, where it was set up for Bristol Pride in 2017. And it was modeled on the Drag Queen Story Time in California. The propaganda of Drag Queen Story Time is that it teaches diversity. The US Drag Queen Story Time website proclaims Drag Queen Story Time captures the imagination and play of the gender fluidity of childhood and gives kids glamorous, positive, and unabashedly queer role models. Other aspects of diversity seem to be neglected. Lesbians and gay men who do not cross-dress have not been invited to read to children. It would be interesting to know whether this is happening in Germany too, or whether it is confined to the Anglosphere. And in fact, Stephanie has already said to me that it's starting to happen in Berlin. Drag queen performances are not about positive role models for children. They are sexual performances in which the gay male practitioners gyrate and twerk and display their crotches. Drag queens are often involved in gay male prostitution and the acts promote their services. Drag queen names regularly reference the sex industry. The featured drag queen who performed for toddlers in schools in Bristol in 2017 calls himself Miss Beaver a term used in the culture of pornography to mean women's genitals. The online slang dictionary defines a beaver shot thus, a pornographic photograph graphically displaying the beaver, i.e. external female genitalia. Many of the names adopted by drag queens indicate the cultural values of prostitution, male gay sexual practice, and the hatred of women and women's bodies. One list of the funniest drag queen names on the US Pride website includes the following. 
Anna Borsham, a very good lay, Malestia Child, Phallic Cunt, Lucy Stool, and Olive D. Cox. There is no evidence that Molestia Child has been involved in Drag Queen Story Hour, but the very existence of this in a list of funny drag queen names suggests a drag queen culture that is hostile to children and at least permissive about child sexual abuse. The public authorities who invite drag queens to speak to children may be unfamiliar with the origins and values of drag culture. There was considerable controversy over the decision early in 2020 to invite a drag queen, along with the lesbian Scottish National Party MP, Myrie Black, to visit a primary school in Scotland in honor of Lesbian and Gay History Month. The local council said that it had been unaware that the drag queen had sexually explicit material on his social media profiles. But his name, Flow Job, which refers to a sexual service of Falatio called a blow job, should surely have provided a clue. Apparently, however, he was introduced simply as Flo. The head teacher said that the children were keen to hear from members of the LGBT community. On top of the list was to invite a drag queen into school to talk about her experiences growing up and her job. Concern was raised after Flo Job's social media profile was discovered subsequent to the event. Myri Black said those who complained were guilty of homophobia. One offshoot of the normalization of drag is the phenomenon of drag kids. Drag kids are children who are inducted into drag performances at drag queen competitions and in clubs and drag venues. The most well known is Desmond Napolis, whose drag queen name is Desmond is Amazing. The child was inducted into drag by his mother, who said she observed him being interested in watching RuPaul's Drag Race on television when he was two years old. From that point onward, she trained him to be a drag queen. By the age of eight, he was voguing throughout a gay pride parade. He was taken up by drag queens and now dances professionally at gay pride events and clubs. As a celebrity, he or his parents make money from the endorsement of products and tips at his performances. Video of him dancing in a gay bar at age 11 in 2018 and being tipped by the adult gay men in the audience caused some controversy. Gradually more drag kids are being discovered in talent shows and exhibited in clubs and competitions and on television shows. 